Dear Tom Sachs, it's Daniel, your Shumaye. A few weeks ago, I was able to hit on the restock of the Nike Craft General Purpose Shoe Studio, the OG that was released and didn't have to pay retail because got it on the restock. This after hitting on retail for the Archive colorway, which has become very quickly one of my favorite go-to sneakers. And I'm here today to ask you, which probably you already have this in mind, but either way, I've got to say, please release the general purpose shoe in all of the colorways. And when I say all of the colorways, I mean literally every colorway you can think of. Do it. Release it in the shoe. Keep it the same price. Release them at Kohl's. Send them to JC Penney's. Send them to Wieners. That's right. Wieners is or was a store. It doesn't really exist. Just like Mervyn's or I guess other type regional places like you can get like TJ Maxx or Solo Serve or anything like that. But I digress. I'm not the first to say this, probably won't be the last, but I really feel like the general purpose shoe could become something akin to a Stan Smith or a Samba or an Air Force One or a Roshi or any other shoe that you can find pretty much anywhere you go to a sneaker boutique, a, a foot action type place, you go to an academy, you go to a Coles, you go to something like that. I know that this has got some hype because it has the Tom Sachs name behind it, but I really feel like this could become almost a dad type shoe or a kid type shoe or anybody type shoe for, well, general purposes. Go to the grocery store, pull out the shoe. Walking the dog, pull out the shoe. Barbecuing, pull out the shoe. Playing some sports out in the neighborhoods with your friends or with other dads or moms or kids or throwing the old apple around in the front yard pull out the GPS. I know that we have said for years that New Balance is the shoe that people mow their lawn with, or the dads go out and they work on their cars, or they, they go out and they grill or anything like that. I don't do any of that kind of stuff, but I'm telling you, I love my New Balance, and most of my New Balance I love too much to actually beat them up. But I'm one of the many who feels like this shoe is perfect to beat up. And I realize that that's kind of one of the things about why this shoe was created. You wanted little to no hype. You wanted to keep the resale prices pretty much non-existent. And it's not working out like I think you wanted to. But we're going to get there. I'm sure of it. I, I feel like that's what's going to happen. And I've seen other mock-ups of potential colorways for this or actual colorways. And I'm just here to say, you don't even have to release the Mars Yard colorway, which I'm sure if and when you do, it will be the most highly sought after GPS shoe because, hey, why not? And I'm sure Nike's going like, can you do it? Tom, please, please, please. It would blow up and be crazy. And yes, I do want you to do that. But dude, can you imagine going after some of the most iconic Jordan type colorways or anything and putting on the shoe of bread GPS or a cool gray GPS or a shattered backboard type GPS, any colorway, a murdered out all black or an all white, just think of any colors and put them together. And I guarantee you they will sell because the shoe looks really cool. It looks like it should be more of a hype shoe than it is, and it is, and it looks like it would be more expensive than it is. And really, I understand that the retail price is a lot compared to what some people pay for shoes when they go to an academy, uh, Sports Not Doors, or Dick's Sporting Goods, or Kohl's, or any of those type of places. But I'm telling you, man, if there is a shoe that I think you should kind of oversaturate the market with, it's this one. And maybe that's your plan. But I'm just here to tell you that I love this shoe. I love the OG Studio colorway. It's just, it's so cool. It's so great. But I tell you what, I love the Archive colorway just as much. In fact, I, I wear this shoe almost every other day. It works for so many different things and it's loud. And I kind of like the yellow, how it sticks out the yellow and orange, as opposed to the white and blue that we have in that. But you know what? It's comfortable enough. It works with just about every outfit and it works on grass, it works on gravel, it works on granite. I've accompanied my daughter to the playground or whatever wearing this shoe and I've worn this shoe out in public kind of like trying to be dressed casual and I'm not ashamed to wear this at my favorite sneaker store because hey man, it's a good shoe. It's a good silhouette and this colorway, not OG, but in a lot of ways, I prefer this to the uh, studio colorway. So in conclusion, yes, please keep releasing more of the GPS silhouette in as many colorways as possible. Sure, try some brand new, fantastic, never thought of Nike type colorways. And sure, why don't we release a Mars Yard version of this and release a bread version of this and a cool gray and a shattered backboard and a, a royal purple or royal blue or a court purple or I don't know, go crazy. But I love this silhouette. I think it's super duper cool. And I really, really think 
this particular silhouette, the GPS has the potential to become the new go-to everyday shoe in a lot of ways that Adidas has and, and Nikes have obviously and Pumas have and Asics and Mizunos and Hoka's and Brooks like, man, if you keep selling this shoe like at a Kohl's or maybe a famous footwear or something like that where any average Joe of the general population could go and grab it and if the price stays pretty competitive, I could see this shoe being on just about anybody and I am all about that. I know we like a lot of hype sometimes, but you know what? It's a great shoe and you know, hype be damned, but uh, please make more of these because I know I'll buy more. So if you, if that, just letting you know, you've got a guaranteed, guaranteed customer in me. So do what you can, Tom. Can I call you Tom? Tommy, is Tommy okay? Mr. Mr. Sachs, uh, Mr. Tom Sachs, please release more of these because these are great. Oh, and for everyone else watching this video who isn't Tom Sachs, what do you think about the GPS? What do you think about different colorways? What do you think about the archive versus the studio? Do you like one? Do you have the shoe? Do you care? Let's talk about it in the comment section down below. So to all of you out there, wherever you are, including Mr. Tom Sachs, thanks for watching. Stay tuned and just chill. Till the next episode.